True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, Rich Rodriguez went ballistic in his press conference on Monday. The topic, this might surprise you, Arizona's 8 p.m. start, October 31st. This is the 11th time in 16 conference, game, conference road games under Rich Rodriguez that they will have started at 6 p.m. or later. That means they're going to get home at 5 in the morning. By then, Greg, we'll, I mean, we'll be waiting on the tarmac to take off. Uh, he is, is furious about this. What, what do you think? They're paying the piper, and, and he's, he's not paying a price because he's getting very wealthy off of it. Right. The players are, I guess. But the fans ultimately pay the price for that, don't you think? Yes, and, th and that's what I think the irony of all of this is, is, you know, this is a television decision. One of the reasons why Arizona can afford Rich Rodriguez is because they've gotten into bed with the television folks. To me, it's scary. Had this game been played a week later, it would have started at 9 p.m. Tucson time. And who would stay up late to watch that? Yeah, but you know, it's not new either. Mm -hmm. In the famous Leap by the Lake game in Seattle in 1998, mm -hmm. my deadline that night was 11 o'clock. I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. at, 11, at 10 to 11, OJ flips into the end zone. Mm -hmm. Have to rewrite a story in 10 minutes? Absolutely. So. I, didn't, I don't feel too bad for him. Yeah, it's tricky, though. When you factor in the late starts, and I think this is where he was going. They don't have a bye to begin with. Yeah. They don't play any Thursday night conference games this year. And so really, I mean, by the time they get home, it's going to be 5 o'clock Sunday. They've got to turn around and leave at, what, 10 a.m. on Friday to go to USC of all places. It really cuts down on their window for preparation. But it's the same all over the league. Mike Riley at Oregon State last year was a good soldier and publicly didn't say a word about six, seven or later starts, mm -hmm. most of them in the cold and rain. Sure. Uh, maybe that's why he left Oregon State. <laughs> Oregon State got piled on so bad last year, mm -hmm. no one has approached that. Um, Arizona's just their turn in the whipping booth now. Sure. Uh, can I sound like a jerk for a minute? Is this a matter of win more games and you're not playing at 8 o'clock? Unless, it, unless one of the networks has a prime slot at 8 o'clock. Right. But they don't. Yeah. I mean, you, you even look last week, you know, UCLA played Stanford at 7.30. To me, even, there's a big difference between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Right. You know, and Washington gets it really bad, too, because most of their fans come from the region, from Olympia, which is 100 miles away. Mm -hmm. So they get home at 2 or 3 in the morning. Mm -hmm. The fans pay as much a price as anybody. Sure. And that's why... That's why tennis has declined everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, all, in both major sports. Right. In basketball, too. Nobody draws in basketball like they did five years ago, except for maybe Arizona and Utah. Yeah. It's, over the next 10 years, the decline of attendance in football and basketball in the Pac-12 is going to be a story every year. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see it stopping. It's funny. I was reading our own Arizona Daily Star letters, uh, what, a week ago. And somebody called and said that if Greg Byrne cared at all yeah, about, yeah. The, about the student athletes and about the fans, that they wouldn't play games at 1 o'clock. Okay, <laughs> play at 7. Well, you play at 7, and the football coach is mad. Yeah. I mean, there's, it, sometimes you can't win for losing if you're those guys, I guess. And you think this is a new problem? Mm -hmm. But on another topic this week, I was looking at the 1935 U of A football, some, some archives. Mm -hmm. They took a train. To, they played Centenary in Shreveport, Louisiana. Of course. They left Tucson at 10 on a Thursday morning, mm -hmm. got back at 4 Monday afternoon. Now, do you think you'd cry about that trip on a train? Yeah. God, that's terrible. How about the missed class time then? I know. I know. It's just, it, it's a tough question. It doesn't have any right answers. I mean, Greg Byrne is going to formally complain to the Pac-12. Well, what are they, they going to do? I mean, the Fox Sports pays its money. Pac-12 Network pays its money specifically to pick which games it wants to show. They're not going to change just because the football coach is mad. No, and you're right. The laggards in the league are going to get that last Pac-12 time slot every week. Right. You don't want to play at 11 a.m., yep. and you don't want to play at 7, because that means that somewhere somebody thinks that you're not worth watching on TV. you got to be really good to get that 5 o'clock slot yep. when Arizona got it against UCLA. Yep. They're not good enough to get it right now. Nope. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. 
for Greg Hansen. I did not know where Centenary was, by the way. Louisiana. I'm the, <laughs> the, you learn something every day. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear, they order the tickets, they pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union, smart choice.